Before you guys watch my response, I want to say that I have Jennifer's full video linked down below. So I suggest you guys go check it out because I'm not going to be talking about all of it. Also, I am asking you to please not send hate towards anybody, including Jennifer. Please just have a respectful discussion and leave it at that. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be having a little bit of a discussion or more of a response to a video another creator recently posted. The video was called The Problem with Pet Tube and it was released by a creator named Jennifer. She made a video kind of voicing her opinions and criticizing Pet Tube in general. I felt like sharing some of my observations and the conclusions that I've come to and maybe get a conversation going. And because she said that she wanted to start a conversation and also decided to include my thumbnail to help prove her point. I thought that I would go ahead and respond and contribute a little bit to that conversation because I think I have some other insights to add. I know there's been a lot of discussion on this video, both on Instagram and YouTube. So yeah, these are just my opinions and my response. Also, if you are coming here and you do not know who I am, my name is Tarantula Cat and I have like over 80 tarantulas, well over 100 arachnids. Other than that, I have a couple lizards and some snakes, frogs, hamster dogs, stuff like that. But I don't really focus on those animals on my channel because my content is pretty much catered towards invertebrates like tarantulas and jumping spiders and camel spiders and scorpions. I guess I'm more of a tarantula tuber. We're like the more weird, obscure side of pet tube. Spiders are just generally not as accepted and lovable as a lot of other animals people keep, which is fine. I like it. We have the creepies and the crawlies over here and maybe we're the cool side of pet tube. Ever think of that? No, but really. So first of all, let me just say that there are a few things with Jenny's video that I agree with, like this. Something that I've talked about before in my previous videos is because they are pets, because a lot of them are animals that we have taken from the wild and kind of domesticated in one way, shape, or form and choose to have for our own enjoyment, I feel like that puts a heavy burden on us to make sure that we are giving them the best life they could possibly ever have because they didn't choose this life. We imposed it on them. So I guess what bothered me, and I know Tyler discussed this in his video, is that she said that she wasn't attacking anybody or like saying that we're bad people, even though she was including our content as like points to like the problem with pet tube. What I'm not gonna be doing in this video is calling out any one person specifically. I'm gonna be using screenshots of like thumbnails and YouTube videos in this video here, but that does not mean that I think those YouTubers or content creators are bad. In fact, I'm probably gonna be using even some screenshots from my own past videos to illustrate my point. In my opinion, even if you say you're not calling out anyone specifically, if you're going to specifically put videos and thumbnails from other creators on your video as an example, what you're pretty much doing is calling out specific people and saying, you're what I'm talking about. Like, just because you say you're not doing something, if you do it, you do it. And you, you are calling people out and kind of criticizing us, even if you say you're not. So I guess one of the biggest issues I had with her video was when she stated that less animals is better because you can't give 50 or more animals adequate care. So basically for me, the main issues here are that one, I am not confident as someone who has experience in this area that someone who has that many animals is able to properly care for all of them. And I think Ants Canada left a very insightful comment on her actual video. I will like put it right here, but I think the volume of animals also depends on the type of animals because not all animals have the same demands for care, space, and maintenance. So yeah, you can you can pause this and read the whole thing, but pretty much my opinion is that. And I kind of wanted to take that and run with it and expand on it. Like I very commonly get asked how I manage to take care of like so many animals. And I don't know if Jenny has ever kept tarantulas or is familiar with like tarantula care or anything like that. So I guess it's probably just like a good idea to cover this in the video first and foremost. So tarantulas are like the opposite of most animals. Generally speaking, for tarantulas, less is 
more. Less space, less attention, less food, less everything is more, except substrate. You need more substrate. <laughs> so while you can house a tarantula in say like a 10 gallon, it's typically not really necessary or beneficial at all because they're really not going to venture out of their burrow. And as somebody who has actually had the opportunity to go out in the wild and observe tarantulas in their habitat, one thing really stuck out to me about this Aphonopelma hensi we found under a rock. She had a very shallow little burrow with a silk around it and you could see parts of beetles and other things that she had been eating and she just lived in that hole and probably never really leaves it and her burrow was pretty much the same size as a tarantula's burrow that I have in captivity so it was just really cool to see that and compare it and actually like just see it for myself in the wild another cool thing about tarantula care is that you really have options when it comes to their setups and you can go very inexpensive in fact a lot of people just keep their tarantulas in Tupperware with holes that they put for ventilation and that's a really great way to house a tarantula. In fact a big part of the tarantula hobby is kind of finding enclosures for your tarantulas. As a tarantula keeper sometimes you'll see candy that comes in a box and you'll be like I don't want that candy but I want that box to put a tarantula in. So you buy the candy and throw it away and you make the box an enclosure. We've all done it, no shame. <laughs> Tarantulas have a very simple nervous system, so they don't really need stimulation or things like a hamster or something like that would need. Now this is probably my favorite part, but you do not need to clean a tarantula substrate. You never need to change their substrate. Honestly, unless you're doing a rehousing, then that would be a good time to do it. But really, you never have to go in there and like scoop out tarantula poop or anything like that. So now that we've talked about that and I've kind of clarified all of that, I wanna to get to some other things that she had discussed that maybe I feel uncomfortable about how she went about it maybe. And I have to say it really does concern me when I see videos that are titled like all my pets and then in parentheses it'll say 60 plus animals. Like <laughs> as for the like 100 plus and stuff like that, that's just me saying how much I have or how much there is. It's not because it's like some competition to me it never has been now having said that maybe there is some sensationalization sensationalization sensationalized <laughs> titles and thumbnails and stuff like that I guess when she criticized that it reminded me <laughs> It's so weird, it specifically reminded me of this interview with Steve Irwin's, I believe it was the doctor that was there when he had passed away. But basically what he was saying was that he was not a fan of Steve Irwin because Steve Irwin was really stupid and out there. But when he actually met Steve Irwin, they actually really hit it off. And Steve pretty much said like, yeah, maybe I'm, I do stupid things, maybe, you know, I'm a moron or whatever, but look how much attention I've garnered to these animals, look how much attention I've garnered to conservation. And I kind of feel like it applies to this too. I work with jumping spiders that people thoughtlessly kill all the time without any remorse or a single thought to it. And so in my case, yes, I want to bring attention to these animals and I want to make people love these animals because they're important to me and they're important to the world, the ecosystem. They're huge factors and how the environment and everything works and we are destroying their habitats and that is something that I have talked about and worried about and discussed. The deforestation is so serious, you guys, for the tarantula habitats, but nobody's really talking about them. They're talking about the other cute animals that live in the forest, but they're not talking about the spiders and the tarantulas and stuff like that. And that needs attention brought to it. So maybe my all my tarantulas video is some way I'm harvesting views or whatever. They're trying so hard to get your attention by having an inordinate amount of animals. And that just honestly kind of grosses me out. No, I'm literally attracting people to my channel and getting them interested in animals they never thought twice about. And that is a big goal of mine and important to me. So I'm sorry if that upsets anybody when I sensationalize or whatever, um, but it's not all about views and money and stuff like that. It's seriously, you don't get this far thinking about the views and the money as an end result. You don't. And I'm sorry to get a little heated about it, but I guess if the way the way that she put it and us being gross, it, it really did kind of hit me because I'm not saying I'm doing this big remarkable thing, but I'm really trying to give these spiders the platform and helping people with their arachnophobia and helping them live alongside these amazing creatures. And the fact that I am so blessed to actually do this as a job blows my mind every day. 
I think about how much I love it and how thankful I am every single day. Now, as for the views and the relevancy she mentioned and the fact that I do now depend on this, my family does now depend on this as an income. Is it important to me that my videos perform at the same time? Yes, I literally depend on it. Something I think we can do to start moving in a better direction, which is support pet channels that have fewer animals. And you can decide for yourself, you know, if you don't want to follow my advice, don't follow my advice. That's fine. Uh, we can all have different opinions and still get along and coexist in the same space. This is just my opinion. And if you agree with me, something that I think you can do to realize this better direction that we want to move in is to support channels that have fewer pets. So it's like, okay, <laughs> You're saying that you're not directing anything at me and you're not talking about anyone specifically, but also stop supporting channels that have a lot of animals and only support channels that have fewer animals. Like obviously what you're doing is you're literally, you're telling people to stop watching my channel, stop watching Snake Discovery, stop watching, you know, Emma, Maddie, everyone else whose thumbnails you use because we have a lot of animals is what you're saying. I know I'm not the only one who has a family depending on this, but think about your words when you say things like that. That's all I have to say is think about your words and your impact and how it affected and affects the creators whose faces you used to make that video and your points. One more thing I want to talk about that's a little bit more serious is that she talks about how we are glamorizing animal hoarding. Sometimes I feel like pet tube has the effect of glamorizing or glorifying animal hoarding. In reality, getting a new pet should not be something that happens frequently. It should be a rare occurrence, actually. <laughs> Hot take, I know. You shouldn't, you just shouldn't be going out and getting a new pet every month. I don't. I don't know why I'm explaining this so much. Isn't it kind of like a no brainer? And this is not a new insult in the community. As somebody who has been affected by a hoarder, as somebody who knows what hoarding is, you really need to be careful about things like that because being a hoarder is not an insult. It is not shameful. It is a mental health condition. What you should have said is that we glamorize getting a lot of pets and leave it at that, man. You don't need to bring that word into the conversation. Just my advice. I guess what I wish she did with that video was stick to the original message, which was not a bad message because her opinion is valid and she did make some good points, but then it kind of got lost. I wish she focused more on her situation that she had mentioned where she was bringing in too much she could handle. You know, my perspective, just for those of you who may not be familiar with me and my channel is informed by being someone who used to have tons of huge aquariums with lots and lots of fish in them. I had two bunnies, a few axolotls, three cats, a dog, a couple leopard geckos, a crested gecko, four tree frogs, four dart frogs, a pac-man frog, and a snake all at once. I don't think I forgot anything, but <laughs> I could have. After having that many animals for a little while, I really started to feel like both my animals and I would really benefit from having fewer of them and being able to put more of my time and energy into the few that I did have. So I ended up rehoming my animals. You know, I took a lot of time finding good homes for each of them. I wish she had focused more on that and her experience because that's something that is unique to her that would have a really good cautionary tale for other creators, especially new creators. It would have been a great cautionary tale, but instead she made it more targeted than it needed to be, even though she claimed it wasn't, it was. So my final thoughts here is that generally I believe that pet tube, tarantula tube does more good than bad. I think there are things that should be talked about and I think that this is a good conversation to have, but I do believe that in general pet tube, tarantula tube is a really good influence and I think it's really important for us to all come together because we have so many legislators, organizations that really want to take wild animals like snakes or your leopard geckos out of your home. We have organizations that don't believe in having any animal captive. And that's what we're up against. And that's who's paying politicians. That's who is lobbying for laws that typically do more harm than good. So as a community, we need to band together. The lobbyists and organizations have their shit together and that's 
who's making the laws, who has no idea about any of this. And yeah, that's all. Like this video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're not, and you, you want to be. be. Don't forget I have an Instagram video, it's probably way too much, it's at You can go follow me there, I also have a Patreon podcast and a Teespring, it is all linked down below. And let's get into the Patreon pet picks.